What is going on guys, Tactical Bacon here, and thank you very much for checking out today's video, which is going to be some Daisy Vanilla Mod, Season 4, Episode 9. So there's been a short period of time between the last episode and this episode, not really much that you missed and I gotta catch you up on. Quotes and I ended up going to Berezino to do a mission, that's how I came across the DMR that you're seeing me hold right now. And then about a day or so later, Quotes and I actually came upon these supply crates that you're seeing, just kind of on a random spot of the map, and we actually ended ended up getting some pretty decent gear, a lot of food, drinks, and all that kind of stuff. But unfortunately at that time, I didn't really have a whole lot of time to game, so I had to cut it short. Although I did come back later on and record everything that you guys are gonna be seeing in today's video. So the remainder of the video is going to be me just kind of rolling solo, doing a mission, and trying to go around and getting some supplies. But anyways, that's gonna be all the setup you guys need for today's video. Remember, if you like it, to leave it a thumbs up and comment down below. Also go join our Facebook group at YT Tactical Bacon. Go Follow me on Twitter at YT Tactical Bacon. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Should be the last one. <clears throat> Temperature's starting to go down. It's getting cold. I'm gonna flank around. So I'm pretty sure that I saw something in side chat earlier about some guy driving a car going through Gorka. And Gorka is really not that far away from here. Would be nice to get one of those vehicles. Already got full blood. So I don't really have to worry about that. Plus, I don't think I can give myself a blood bag on the server anyhow. And I don't know how likely it is that people are going to try to come over here. It's always just a little bit easier when you have somebody else watching your back. Uh, just because I don't see anything in those trees over there right now doesn't mean that there's not somebody camping. But. You know, worst case scenario, somebody is camping it, and I end up getting killed. Would do me well to get some DMR mags, which... There we go. MREs, painkillers... Ooh, he had a bigger backpack. Slightly. You know, the one thing I do miss about Arma 3 is there's not a take all button. That's fine. That is A okay with me. Well, there's a crate in here. Let's see what we got O negative, antibiotics. I'm gonna put some of this shit in my backpack. Two morphine, two painkiller, two bottles of water. Come on, let me get one of these Humvees so I can get the fuck away from here. How bad off is this one? Well, that's not too bad. Alright! Do I have earplugs at all? Oh, I do have earplugs. Nice. Awesome. I got a Humvee. I got med supplies. I got some good shit, man. Not too bad. Could have taken that, uh, that Jeep, too. But whatever. It's not that big a deal. I got a Humvee. 
And I got some ammo back too, so that's nice. Map has been updated. It's another mission. A supply drop. You know, it would probably do me well to do some looting. Try to find a tent. And, uh, kind of store some of this shit away. As a matter of fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back and I'm going to grab some of the guns that the AI had. I'm going to be a little greedy. What does this guy have? M24? Alright. I'm good. I'm good. That's enough guns. <laughs> yeah, now I really need to find a tent. Because this, uh, this vehicle is not going to last until... Or it'll last until server restart, but then after that, it's over. Which, I mean, that's not too bad. I mean, vehicles are kind of loud. Especially this one. This one's really loud. But it will help me get around just a little bit, so... No, I don't want the machete. I want my M24. But look, there's another machete over here. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Take that hatchet. Yes. Oh man, that's fucking awesome, dude. I've been wanting a hatchet for a while now because I've got like, I don't know, six or seven um, steaks that are cut up that I've not been able to cook because I just haven't found any wood piles. I haven't found a hatchet. I mean, I got like canned food and shit like that. That's like, that's why I didn't pick up that other can of food that I just passed, that can of corn. Leveler. 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 But, um, yeah. Oh my god. Is there anything in this outhouse? Probably not. A little toilet. That's about it, though. And I don't think there's going to be anything over there. No. Wait, is there? No. Alright, yeah, we can go ahead and move out. I don't remember this military complex in the middle of nowhere up here. What the hell am I at on the map? Yeah, this is just some random military complex. I, <clears throat> I guess it's military. See some tents over there. Knock this fence over. Yeah, I see some barracks. Oh, well. I thought that that would knock the fence over. Apparently not, though. Just get out and go on foot. Hopefully nobody steals my vehicle. Like I said earlier, all I'm really looking for right now is a tent. Don't know if I'm going to find anything over here. Might, though. Oh. It's like, where the fuck is there a ladder? Hmm. It's kind of sketchy if you ask me. Like, I'm sure that most of the people on the server know about this place, right? And they have to. These doors just popped open randomly. There's no gear yet. I'm guessing that's because no zombies have spawned in. And I'm not seeing any gear in there. 
Mm, I don't think that's a building I can go into, actually. Thought it was at first. Oh, well, there's some loot. So maybe that means that there's loot in these uh, little barrack tent things now. Be careful about zombies. I got way too much gear on me to be getting killed by one of those fuckers. I'm still not seeing anything in there yet. How do I want to do this? Because there's probably on zom or ugh, there's probably zombies on either side of the hospital. Yeah. Let's see if we can kill this one. <laughs> okay. Is this other zombie not going to aggro to me or what? Jesus Christ. Alright. Fucking... Blood goes quicker than anything in this goddamn mod. A bandage up. Oh, I can go in that building. Okay. Cool. It just looked like from the side, from the windows, you couldn't go in there. <clears throat> well, I guess it wasn't worth going in here to begin with. Check the bathroom, but. Yeah, nothing in here. It's a pain in the ass sometimes with the vanilla mod. You go into an area where you're like, oh yeah, there's going to be awesome loot here. <laughs> and then you're like, nope. Not a damn thing. There's a weapon. I don't need any of those. Sandbags. No tent. You know, when you're looking for one thing, you can never find it. Let's see if there's anything in here. Oh, there's a backpack. Magazine. Flashlight. At least there's shit spawning in here this time. There's a morphine. Random empty cans. Jesus Christ, all the zombies over there. I have... I don't think I've ever had any kind of good loot finds in the school. Is that over there? Is that a dead zombie? Oh no. It is a dead zombie. So that might mean that there's a player around here somewhere. Maybe not. Because the zombie's kind of half in a wall. So maybe the zombie spawned in like that and just died instantly? And I guess that's a possibility. Holy fuck. Okay. It's like, how the hell do you get down, down on this ladder? Other than there's no way to get off over here. Well, there we go. I just found a way. Alright. Jesus Christ, it's laggy over here a bit. Ah. 
Nice. All right. Come on, give me a fucking tent already. No, no. 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 And no. No tents anywhere around here at all. Hmm. Wish I could have found one before the uh, server goes down. Doesn't look like it's going to happen though. I need to keep moving though because I've only got that Humvee for a limited amount of time. Another 50, 51 minutes. So. I'm just going to go back to the Humvee, uh, jump in that, and keep heading over towards uh, Northwest. Because, you know, worst case scenario. Server goes down, I lose the vehicle, and any loot I can't carry. But at least I'll be over there at the northwest. Well, that didn't take long. I was paying more attention to something else and not at the game. And I broke a tire. If you guys are interested to know just how far I got from that military base... That's how far. <laughs> not very far at all. So now, unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave uh, some of this gear behind. I can get rid of the road flares because I don't need that. Change it out for a mag. I'm not going to need that flashlight, so I'll take another DMR mag. Um, fuck. Man, I really wish Quotes was on right now because I'd be able to give him either the DMR or the M24 or both. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Oh well. At least I got what I needed out of the vehicle. And if I had a toolbox, I could probably repair it, but I don't have a toolbox. And I don't know if it's like in uh, Epoch and Overpoch where some vehicles actually have like middle wheels that you can take off and put in the primary wheel place. So. But yeah, that's uh, that's kind of unfortunate. But I mean, we're not that far away from Northwest and all that kind of shit. I mean, this A and two cargo mission is just a little over three k away. So I guess worst case scenario, I can, I can probably head over there anyways, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm not that far away. Yeah, let's go ahead and head over there to this mission. Because who knows, we might be able to get some decent shit over here. But yeah, I just thought that, that was funny. I didn't make it very far from that base at all. Before I ended up crashing, so. Oh, hey, the shit's been secured by survivors already. I mean, I guess it is possible that there would be some loot over there, but... Meh. We'll head over to Northwest and see if there's anything going on over there, I guess.